Hello and God bless you all today. Welcome to the Time Is Now Ministry. Today is Sunday, August 19th, 2018, and we are beginning a new series called Who Am I in Christ? Let us read Matthew 5, 13 through 16. And it says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. What a special message we just read here. In verse 13, Jesus tells us that we are the salt of the earth. What exactly does the salt of the earth mean for us? In Jesus' day, salt was not only used to season food, but also to preserve it from decay. This means that we as Christians help protect society from moral and spiritual decay, especially through work that affects laws and thoughts of people. When we stand up for Jesus and the values that he gives to us, we are helping to prevent the spread of evil. When the world shows hate, we are to show love. When the world curses us, we are to bless them. When the world tries to show that God does not exist, we are living examples for God's reality. We are the salt of the earth. In verse 13, Jesus also asked the question, If the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? Jesus wants to have a relationship with us. We need to seek our Lord daily and as often as possible. The more time we spend in God's presence and reading His Word, building ourselves up, becoming strong and educated in what the Lord has to say to us, we won't lose our flavor. We need to remember that living for Christ is a lifestyle. Moving on in verse 14, Jesus also tells us, You are the light of the world. What is light used for? It is used to illuminate or to shine and communicate or to spread. Jesus calls us the light for a special reason. He wants us to shine so that we can be a point of direction for those in the world who are lost. We are the point of direction where unbelievers can find Jesus. How do we become this light? We do so by living according to the way Jesus commands us to live in the Bible and attracting the world with Christ's love. Like verse 16 tells us, Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I encourage you today to become that salt and light that the world so desperately needs. Put forth the effort to continuously develop your personal relationship with our Lord. Know His word and who you are in Him. Our nation is lost. There is so much divide and hate being spread around. The evil in people's hearts are being worn on their sleeves. We need to show them different. We need to show them Christ. We need to be salt and light. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this day, Father God. We thank you for your word, Lord, that um, how you show us to be the salt and light of this world, Father God, for your glory and your honor, to bring, to bring peace among people, Father God, to bring people to you so that they can know you as their personal Lord and Savior, so that they could be saved and spend eternity with you, Father God. Lord, we thank you for your protection, Father God, for your blood covering over our lives right now, Father God. We just give you all the glory and honor for everything that you have done for us, that you're doing for us, and that you're going to do for us, Lord God. And Lord, right now, we just pray for your hedge of protection over us, Father God. Satan and demons, I bind, break, and cast out all evil plans that you have against each of us right now. I command you to stay away from us and leave us in the name of Jesus. I claim the blood of Jesus over each one of us today. And I claim victory in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. In Jesus' name, amen.